It's this curiosity and it's this um, uh, drive to try to make the world around us better. We have this responsibility that we have to try to make things better in our own small way with our own small pieces of, of research. So my name is Leila Mora. I am a Royal Academy of Engineering uh, Research Fellow in Queen's University, Belfast. I'm building equipment to be able to understand how my new materials, my liquid materials, will absorb the gases that I want to separate. This gas is going to make everyday items such as nappies, pipes, medications, cosmetics, clothes. However, to obtain these gases, we use a separation process that is very energy uh, consuming. It represents actually 0.3% of the world energy consumption. So it has a huge carbon footprint. So my job is to create technology that is environmentally friendly for us to separate these gases in a sustainable way and to use smaller facilities. So my technology would then be helpful in trying to purify these gases so they can be reused again. So instead of using more oil uh, to make these plastics, we would just degrade them and then purify them and convert them back into whatever we want. Maybe different materials, maybe the same materials. Every person per year uses 30 kilograms of these gases. Every person in the world. These gases are usually obtained from oil. The separation process is really, really energy consuming and uses really large facilities. So what I want is to decrease the cost of obtaining these gases so that it can decrease the cost of the, the products that we make from them and also to be able to obtain them from alternative sources or so scale down the distillation columns that are currently used to obtain them, scale them down. So if we can get the same technology to work in this kind of gas capture and farmers can sell it as a carbon neutral energy source that goes into our gas grids directly, or we can produce it in our homes and get it into the gas grids, or we can get it to use it ourselves, we'll be self-sufficient because if we can use our waste to create energy fuel and then use it again. This makes us more uh, self-sustained, more self-reliant instead of getting uh, fuel from other sources. So that would be important to have because this can give some more economic power to farmers and it will decrease pollution and carbon emissions and methane emissions. If you just imagine uh, this little, a little rig made of uh, stainless steel with little containers, little baby containers uh, with our liquids and our gases and then connections and little valves. So it looks like a, a plant, I suppose, but in miniature, a miniature plant. <laughs> and also I'm looking at it from a molecule perspective, so my molecular engineering perspective. And yes, it's quite, it's quite beautiful to see. I mean, at least to me, it's my baby. So um, our babies are always beautiful, right? The Academy has really given me the opportunity to start my own research group. Before I applied uh, for the fellowship, I was a postdoc, I was working, let's say, in someone else's research. Although I was giving a lot of freedom, that's not really working with your ideas and being completely independent. So the Academy really gave me the opportunity to start my own research group, work on my ideas and the problems that I'm interested in and the, the, with my own group, with my own students. And so that's giving me a unique opportunity to, to work on that. I would really like to make as a scientist a contribution that makes really a positive effect in community, in society and in the environment. That will be my ultimate goal, to see my technology make a positive difference in everyday lives, in climate change and, and all of this. That would be that would be my dream come true.